This week's mastermind has again done outstanding work in diving into and learning the set, the third set of John Maxwell's 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership. But I want to challenge you, those who have hesitated to take the next step in that process, to not only learn the laws, but live the laws and lead others to the laws. As John Maxwell says, sometimes you just have to take a leap and build your wings on the way down. So don't just learn the laws, but live them, pick one, and see what you can do to lead others to those laws. The discussion was great, and I encourage you to keep doing that. But there was one issue that came up that uh, didn't quite get resolved, so I thought I'd give that a, a shot on the whiteboard today. And the question was this. When we're making tough decisions, do we go with our heart or do we go with our gut? And as I reflected on that, it dawned on me that, that we're really missing an important dimension to that. So let's take a look at that on the board. If we're leading with our heart, our emotions can take us all over the map, can't they? They go here, they go there, it depends on our mood, depends on the mood of the other people involved in the process. And then our gut down here, now I'm, I'm not going to try to draw a gut, but, but let's just imagine this is our gut. And our gut is telling us, oh, hold on there, partner, just hold on, something's wrong. Well, where's the third piece that's missing? It should be up here, but I'm going to put it over here just because it's easier to see on the board. And this is our intellect. And I'm going to make a poor attempt at drawing a face here. Our intellect. Our intellect is the brain process that instinctively works to put all the pieces together, all the data that's coming in at us. And what's happening is when the head and the heart aren't agreeing, the gut is what tells us, hold on, take another look. And so what we need to do is make sure that we have a balance between all three that when they're in balance, when the pieces all come together in a way that makes sense and the emotion is comfortable with the decision, the gut will agree and go along. That's the only way, that's the only time that you should go forward to make a decision. So your first indicator is your gut. It tells you something's out of whack. And if that's true, you need to go back and check your heart and check your mind get it all in balance. I'll see you next week.